Setting up the Zootune speaker to work with your Bluetooth enabled device is easy. To demonstrate this, I'll be using my Android tablet. The steps will be similar on your device, so follow the basic instructions that I'm giving you and you'll be well on your way. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is open up the main menu of your Android device and look for its settings button. So there's all the apps that I have here on this thing. I'm going to click on the settings button here. And now that we're in the settings, this is the part that shows your battery and lets you set up passwords and turn on and off Wi-Fi. Look for the Bluetooth button that'll be in there somewhere. Mine is right there. And my Bluetooth is currently off. That's why it says off here. There should be a button to turn it on. Mine looks like a slider there in the corner. Once you've turned on the Bluetooth on your device, now go ahead and grab the Zootunes itself and turn it on as well. There'll be an on-off power button there on the side. Once your Zootunes is on, go ahead and hold down the Bluetooth button, which is located in the middle of the up and down volume controls. Hold it for about eight seconds. At some point, you'll hear that noise there. And that's letting you know that the Bluetooth is becoming enabled. And when you see it flashing, go ahead and let the button go. Now your Zootunes is in pairing mode, so go ahead back to the device and you'll notice that it found something and it will be named Zootunes and the character name itself. In this case, the rabbit. Uh, so here it is and all you need to do is click on the name of it and it's going to pair. And You'll notice your light will go from flashing to a solid. And that's it. Now you're connected. Any sound or music coming from your device here will play through the Zootunes. Once you've turned your Zootunes off and you want to reconnect it back to the Bluetooth device, all you'll need to do is turn it back on and wait a couple seconds. And then you can press the Bluetooth button quickly. It will make a little noise like that. And then it will start to find any device within its range to try to connect to if it was already paired with it once before. And you'll notice my Bluetooth icon is showing that it's not connected and in a few seconds it will finally connect. And there it is. It's showing it's connected now. Yep. Zootunes connected.